Good morning, church family. My name is Rosemary Soto, and I'm going to be doing today's Heart to Home Devo with you guys. Before we begin, let's open up in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father God, we just thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for your love and your mercy, your greatness and your goodness, Father God. We thank you for being who you are and for loving us, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you be with us here today as we go through your word, Lord, and um, may your spirit flow in and through our lives, Father God. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. So today um, I would like to share a verse that the Lord keeps bringing to my heart, to my mind, to my attention. Um, it is Philippians 1.6. For those of you that may not know, the book of Philippians is a book that, um, or a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. It was a thank you letter to them. The church there in Philippi had taken up an offering um, for Paul, and he was very thankful for their generosity, and, and he was very grateful for their very generous gift. He starts off by introducing himself and by telling them um, that they are always in his prayers, that he is, whenever he thinks of them, that he is so thankful for them and the work that God has begun there in Philippi. Now when Paul penned this, he was, um, in his letter, he was talking of the work that the Lord had begun in the lives of just a few individuals that then grew into a church. And all it took was for Paul to show up and to tell those that the Lord put in his path about Jesus. As believers and follows, followers of Christ Jesus, we are called to do the same. Our individual ministry is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with others, our unsaved spouses, our unsaved children, our neighbors, our co-workers, um, the other parents on the soccer field or the basketball fields, um, or in dance class. We too, like Paul, are called to show up and tell, to be the witness for Christ in our conversations and our actions. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we can see conversion and growth right away, and sometimes we don't see it at all. But that doesn't mean that God didn't use um, you or us to start something in their hearts. My encouragement to you is the same encouragement that I have received from the Lord concerning not seeing the fruit of my labor and of being an example of Christ to those he has placed in my life. And it was Philippians 1.6. Let's read this verse. Being confident of the things that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Christ. Now I realize that Paul is talking to people that are actively walking and serving the Lord. Um, and that he is saying that they can be confident that what God started there in their town, that he will finish it. So when I received this from the Lord, I heard him telling me that he also begun a work in the hearts of my loved ones that are not actively walking with the Lord. And that even though I cannot see the reward or the fruit of that labor right here and right now, that I can be confident that the Lord is going to finish it. This word is from him, or this word that I received from him has been very encouraging and comforting for me. And it is my hope that if you or someone you know is feeling like the work that you are doing, the example 
and the witness that are you that you are being to the ones you love and to those that God has placed directly in front of you. Um, if you're feeling like it's all been in vain, please take comfort and be confident that the work that the Lord has begun, he will finish. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to uplift to you my brothers and sisters that may be feeling discouraged um, in being a witness to those that you have placed in front of them, Lord. I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would just comfort them and remind them that they can be confident that you, the Lord who, the God who knows everything, who knows our hearts, who sees deep within us, um, who created each and every one of us, that we can be confident that you will finish the works that you have begun, that you will continue to grow every seed that has been planted in your name, and that regardless of what we see, regardless of what we think, regardless of what we feel of, about the things that are happening and taking place right in front of us, right before our eyes, that you are working, that you are seeking our loved ones and that you will not relent, that you would continue to pursue them because you love them more than we do. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen.